Now this function is super useful in Python for comparing consecutive values in a list. Let's say our intern was given a list of daily temperatures for the week. His task was to compare each day's temperature with the next and log whether it went up or down. At first he used the traditional approach, a loop with indexing. He started looping from the first index to the second last, grabbing the current and next day's temperatures using indexes, then printed how the temperature changed. So when he ran the program, it worked. He got the comparison of consecutive temperatures, showing how they changed each day. But the code looked a bit messy. He had to manage the loop index manually, and if the data changed or grew more complex, the code would be harder to maintain. So instead of this, he can simply use the pairwise function from the iter tools module. What the pairwise function does is simple. It takes a list and returns overlapping pairs of elements. So first you get 30 and 32, then 32 and 28, and so on, without needing to mess with indexes at all. When he used the pairwise function and ran the program, he got the same result, but the code was shorter, cleaner, and easier to understand. This function isn't just great for temperatures. It's perfect for comparing any consecutive data, like prices, steps, timestamps, even characters in a string. It's one of those small but powerful tools that make your code more readable and elegant.